There will be pastors, people like me, teachers, who will take those verses and basically say, if you have enough faith and just zero doubts, then you're gonna get whatever you pray for. Whether that's like, you know, your cancer disappears or you get a better parking spot at Target or whatever. It's like, you just don't have doubts. They treat these verses like I used to treat Peter Pan. Okay, because in Peter Pan, the whole key to flying is absolute belief, zero doubts, right? I used to spend <laughs> way too much time jumping off the window bench seat at my house trying to fly, you know? And every time I hit the ground, it's like, it's just because I'm not believing, you know? And people take these verses and go, like, I didn't get what I pray for, right? My daughter didn't get healed or whatever because I just, I didn't have enough faith. I wasn't believing enough. And that's not how prayer works, and that's not what Jesus is saying. And he's saying, if you place your faith in me, you can take that mountain with that temple, with that diseased, withered, and unfruitful religion, just like this fig tree, you can take that unfruitful religion and toss it in the sea. If you put your faith in me, you can take that religion and put it to death. It doesn't need to rule your life anymore.